welcome back. In today's video, we are plowing for winter barley 2022 and it'll be harvested in 2023. So, I'm in the R Case Maxim 150. I've got our four furrow reversible plow on and I've the press there as well. So, the press really does a lovely job on plowed ground. No matter what way it is, dry or wet, it'll always do a lovely job on it. So I ploughed some of the maize field the other day and my dad finished it off. And now we're out here in one of our grass fields and I've got a bit, one half of it got a bit overdone with docks this year and we're just kind of not really happy with how grass is growing on it. So we've decided we'll take it out and put winter barley in it cycle it around a bit, get a bit of dung on it, hopefully get back into grass in maybe three years time. So yeah, it's got getting on pretty well. I've about half the field done, maybe a bit more with the headlands. Yeah, I'd say about half the field. And yeah, so the reason we're ploughing it is because there's quite a bit of dirt in it to like docks and thistle and there's a few nettles in some spots but really thistle and dock and we just no point really having them in it. It's better to take out a bad grass field than take out a good grass field. So. Yeah, this field's been in grass I think since 2018 or the winter autumn 2017. About like four years anyway, so we're not really time to take it out, but better to be on top of it than a bit behind. So we're quite happy with how the soil's turning over. There is quite a bit of stone in it, as you might have seen. And I was moving quite a lot, but still going. just like to say if you're enjoying the video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel I've probably by the time this video is going out I'll either be very close to 550 subscribers or I'll have got it so I'll just say I'm going for 600 and then if I haven't got 550 it doesn't really make a difference so yeah just Give the, the video a like, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the video down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to you if you've got any questions. I had the drone up there about 20 minutes ago so I might show that drone footage now and then talk a bit more after it. So yeah, we'll go to drone footage.
I forgot to say we're plowing about eight inches deep. A bit deeper than usual, we'd be more around six or seven, but earlier on in the year we we're plowing in drier ground, we were getting the plow down into it and we just didn't really change it because it seems to be doing a lovely job now, so what's the point in changing it if it's still working? I don't really have much more to say but we're, we'll be sowing winter barley in about two days so that should be the next video you see after this and you might see this till whichever will be probably December nearly December anyway so yeah I'm a bit it's the 12th of October so I'm a bit ahead of myself with videos but that's the way I want to be because I haven't really been editing them on time and I kind of leave it for a week so hopefully I'll try to get back into a video a week because we've beat to lift and stuff and we've a bit of dung to get out so yeah hopefully I'll get another couple of videos but that's why you're seeing this so late in the year we're not sowing our winter barley in the middle of November so yeah that's all for today's video if you have enjoyed it don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel and if you've got any questions about what we're doing or why we're doing something some way leave it down in the comments and i'll i will get back to you i'm not going to try i will get back to you so yeah that's all for today's video i will see you in the next one Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight